So here's an update on the greenhouse so far this summer. And I uh, wanted to show you how things were going here. We, uh, the, the greenhouse is growing great. Um, we've had to try and keep it cool because we've been having 95 degree weather. And right now the fans aren't on because those things are loud and you'd never be able to hear what I'm saying. But we've had to keep the doors open and we live in the country. So we have rabbits and we have coyotes and critters and we needed to keep them out. So what we did is we strung uh, poultry netting all the way around. This is electrified all the way around the greenhouse. These come in rolls and we hooked it up to a charger and this thing will stop coyotes and it will actually keep our pigs in their pen. <laughs> you don't want to get zapped by this thing very bad. Uh, but it keeps everything out and that helps because we also have the, ch the meat birds in here. Uh, and so any roving coyotes would have a tough time getting to them. This year we put three raised beds outside the greenhouse. We have our peppers on this side, uh, six different kinds of peppers ranging from normal green peppers to oh my god hot habaneros. And at the end we've got four blueberry plants. So we're going to see how those guys do. I planted those mostly into peat moss because they like very acidic soil. On the other side of the greenhouse we've got three more beds and on this side we planted tomatillos because we like green chili and uh, tomatillo salsa and uh, uh, tortilla soup and those kinds of things and they're going to town they seem to just love this abusive weather and at the other end are five blue uh, blackberry plants so we're gonna trellis those up here soon and see if we can't get a little bit of fruit growing here we've got thoughts of putting a strawberry patch out here and planting some apple trees too and of course the chicken tractor has been a wonderful investment it's keeping the birds clean it keeps them out of the elements it keeps the predators away uh, it just it, it has really worked well and I, I put a fan inside of there too, so it's, it's hooked up on the same timers that the greenhouse fans are on, so they get their ventilation too when it's just really awful hot here. So we'll go inside the greenhouse, and of course in here everything is just doing fabulously well. They don't have to contend with the elements quite so badly, and the fans are keeping the place cool. The cucumbers appear to really love it here. <laughs> They're going to town. They are about five to six feet tall. They're blooming like crazy. They've got really dark green leaves. So we're going to have pickles and salads and you know, you name it. Uh, cucumbers here just doing amazing. And there's about a dozen plants. So we won't have any shortage of those. Same story with the tomatoes. They're, they're really coming along too. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes. Uh, they were a little spindly coming out of the seedling room because they, you know, they like a lot of light and my lights are bright, but they're not the sun. But they've come along. They've really turned around. You can see these ones have really come up. And look, we've got all kinds of blossoms coming on them. And if you've ever had fresh-grown cherry tomatoes out of the garden, you know we're about to have candy. So they're doing great. Our vining tomatoes are doing really well. These ones are called Amos, A-M-O-S. So they are the, this is the first time I've ever used these. And they're supposed to make, oh, little pear-shaped tomatoes that are really good for saucing. And it's the first time I've used them, and if they don't work well, I've got 25 uh, Roma tomato plants over at the other house that uh, we can use as a backup. But you can see, they, they're really doing well. They're, I don't know, three, four feet tall, some of them. Uh, but they're, they're really starting to come along. And you have to do a lot of vining, or a lot of pruning with these. Other than that, other than that they'll start sprawling, and you just want to keep them on one vine. So that's what we're doing here. These are German pinks. These are big slicing tomatoes. Uh, you can see some of these are about five feet tall now and they're starting to bloom. Uh, they'll get 10, 12 feet tall. So these will be fun to watch and they make, oh, half to one pound size uh, slicing tomatoes. Here, this bed, uh, this is what's left of our romaine lettuce. It's turned to chicken food. Uh, it bolted because it got so hot in here. Um, it was delicious romaine lettuce. Worked great, we'll do it again. Uh, it's just too hot now, and lettuce really hates heat, so time to pull that out and feed it to the birds. These are our Cherokee purples. They're another vining tomato. They'll make, you know, softball-sized tomatoes, but they actually are purple. Um, so we're excited to see how that works. They're a very common heirloom variety, but we've never used them before. And you can see down here, we have a tomato. I think you can see it. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we've got a couple, three of those coming along already, and it's only, what, the end of June, so we're happy there. 
These two empty beds will become beans this afternoon. Uh, these are our cauliflower and broccoli plants, and it, we get to start these earlier in the season. Um, I thought I saw them, started them early, but they just bolted, and uh, there wasn't much coming of them. I mean, they made incredible plants, but it just the the product didn't didn't do what it was supposed to. And then the back wall is another batch of cherry tomatoes, and these ones are yellow. So we're looking forward to seeing how all these produce. But the greenhouse is doing great. Uh, in all these oak barrels are all different kinds of herbs. They seem to love this weather as well. And, uh, well, you can really tell the difference in here when the fans aren't running. I got sweat running down into my eyeballs. And, of course, the, the uh, cucumbers are just going to town. So that's the update for now. Greenhouse is going great. Outdoor garden's going great. Uh, looks like Jazz Farm's going to have produce again this year. And, of course, it's always an adventure.